Hey guys, let's look at some um, estimating a proportion in the binomial distribution. Uh, let P represent the proportion of all actors who are extroverts. Find point estimates for P and Q. Round your answers to four decimal places. P is the probability of success. In this description, we have 39 out of 66. So let me grab my calculator. We will be looking at these also on the calculator and salt both. All right, that is 0 0.5909. Q hat is the proportion of fail, which in this case would be not extroverts. Uh, that is one minus P hat. So we can do 1 minus 0 0.5909. 1 minus 0.5909 is 0 0.4091. Find a 95% confidence interval for P. The margin of error has a Z cutoff times the square root of P hat times Q hat over N. From 7.1, the very first slide in that video, there was a chart with a lot of percentages and corresponding Z cutoff values. 1.96 is the cutoff for a Z value at 95%. That happens to be the percent confidence interval we're asked to find. Times the square root of 0 0.5909 times 0 0.4091. all over 66. All right, so I'm gonna grab my calculator, be careful calculating this. And again, this video is just how to do it by hand. 0 0.5909 times 0 0.4091 divided by 66, all under that square root. Grand total, I get 0.1186. So rounded to two decimal point places, excuse me, would be 0 0.12. Lower limit, is p hat minus e upper limit is p hat plus e so if we take 0 0.5909 and subtract 0 0.2 0 0.12 that'll give us 0 0.47 All right, so that's our lower limit. If we add the two numbers, then we get 0 0.71. And these are round to two decimal places, so that's why I'm stopping there. All right. So that would be our confidence interval of 0 0.47 to 0 0.71. And that just tells us that we're 95% confident that the true proportion of actors who are extroverts fall within this interval. And NP and NQ, that is to help balance out to make sure we have a big enough sample and not too much of a weird proportion of success to failure. 
NP for this problem would be 66 times 0 .5909. 66 times 0 .5909 is right at 39, so larger than 5. 66 times the fail rate, which is 0 .4091, gives us 27. So both NP and NQ are greater than 5, and that allows us to say that our proportion estimate, P hat, point estimate, is approximately normal.